terrific like a splinter in my eye well good morning everybody pulling up into Lake Artemisia it's been about a year since I've been here And it's one of Prince George's County, Maryland's best kept secrets. Come on along. And this is, oh man. I just spooked a great big fish. dock got smaller since I was here last. <laughs> I know, half of it. Morning. Morning. Ah! Dink! <laughs> I'll take it though. always have good luck with these robo worms here. It's been a while since I've been here, but this is just such a great spot. And it's not it's not hugely pressured by people that know what they're doing, so Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, the surf rods and kind of crazy. You frogging? Yeah, I've got a frogging rod out in the car, but this early in the morning, I usually just try and hit the docks and drop shot and go weedless. Um, just like I do it off the boat. What do I mean, like, how well do you do? Pretty well. Um, if I'm doing docks, and then I don't know how often you fish here. I used to fish here all the time when I lived in Maryland still, but back in that cut where they get trout in the early winter, and yeah, yeah, up in that, where it, uh, right before you get to the bridge, there's a pretty decent oh, okay. drop off. Back here. Yeah, okay. yeah, way back. My PB in Maryland came out of this place. Mine, so did mine. I got it uh, about three weeks ago. Nice. Do you do it? Um, you do any bed fishing? Uh, I really see the bed here. Really? So if you walk, there's a little cut through that goes out to just past where it comes out where the that little pagoda is. Just past there, around the corner, as you're going back towards that cove, uh -huh. is usually where most of them bed in the spring. Just bef okay on on this side of the willow tree as you're walking back to the back, yeah. Nice. 
Nice. Cool. I still haven't broken double digits, but I was real happy with what I got out of here, so. Yeah, I haven't broken double digits either. It was, uh, I'm, I'm Jen, by the way. Luke. Hey, Luke, what's that's going what on? I call those my, uh, PBs on? Nice. Those are swim bait. Yeah, I tell you what, this, and a, lot, a lot of people in Maryland don't use those big swim baits, and they should. Oh, yeah. This thing's not even, not even a month and a half old. Yeah, they're it's torn up. Yeah, they're tearing it up in this lake. Well, that's, that's the number one forage fish right there, that brim, so. And I'm running this 12, 14 inches off of the bottom. So you can see how I've just got this set up. There's a lot of grass in here. There's a lot of milfoil. Uh, as you can see, it's choked with pads, which is just perfect environment for a nice big bass. And there are some monsters in here. Got a bump. There we go, there's a fish. Feels a little better than what I've been catching. Oh, about the same size, cookie cutter dink. Just a squeaker. Maybe a little better. I think we're going in the right direction. Yeah. Yeah, not that lunker we were looking for, but hey, we'll take it, we'll take it. Easy, buddy, easy, easy, easy. You need to settle down. I'm not gonna hurt you. Ah, ah. Don't be hitting the camera now. <laughs> this little guy's on fire this morning, barely hooked. Look at that, just barely hooked. Tore that up. I have to reset that. All right. Bass number three. Dinky dink on a cactus wren worm. You are now officially a wren fish. See ya. Neat thing about these worms, these headstanders is that you can actually set them up just like you would Texas rig keep it straight run it weedless and it works surprisingly well There we go. <laughs> and I lost the robo worm. Alright, time to go find the big fish. It's a good hook set right in the corner of the mouth. Easy, bud. Let's pop that hook right out. Come on now. Uh uh. Well, you thought we could pop that hook right out. There it is. All right. Dink number four. Dink number five. There we go. Hey. Um, hey, Department of Natural Resources Fish Management. What's with all the dinks? Probably best of the day. All right, finally got not a squeaker. Hey, 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 hey. That is a decent fish. Right. Pretty. Real pretty. 
also a decent fish. This is non-dinker number two. Eh, it's probably still a little squeaky, but yes. Hey, you look just like the other one. Got this one on the uh, Reaction Innovations in red. Also a favorite. There we go. Real seat's coming loose. Reaction innovations and the summertime fish are more liable to move on the bottom. A little bit cooler down there. Sunshine gets pretty warm. Makes the surface temperature of the lake rise. There we go. <laughs> Cookie cutter. Another little dink. We'll take it. Good with it. Happy with it. Don't get in there, don't get in there, don't get in there. I've still got him. Come on now. Get yourself free, buddy. Oh man. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on. Oh, he's got me wrapped in these lilies. Dang, um. See if I can give him a little leeway here. See if he can get himself out of there. I think I've got him pinned pretty good. Come on, fish. Come on. Come on. Let me get this up. There we go. Awesome. Thank goodness. There we go. Nice. Brought the lily and all. He's hook set well, but he doesn't have it down deep. And if I would have left him and cut the line like that, he wouldn't have made it because he was stuck fast to those lily pads. So, easy bud. Barely hooked now. Man, okay. Love it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get anything else out of this, this poor little reaction innovation because I tell you, it's just torn up. Well, I got something looking at it now. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> It'll let go. That's all right.
Not a very big one, but we'll take it. There we go. Just like its brother. Come on. All right, little guy, squeaker. Go get bigger. Thanks for coming. All right. Another little squeaker. This is Dinkfest Artemisia, ladies and gentlemen. Little, little squeaker. <laughs> Yeah, well, I've all day long I've been getting the size. A couple that are better, but mostly this size. Sorry. I've just been doing it a long time, but I don't know if this is good. It's just consistent. Yeah, I always catch fish. I will say 99% of the time. Probably take the weight off mine just let it be free one. Yep. Tough bite. Alright, little squeaker. Alright, kids. Calling it a day. Artemisia, thank you for the three dozen or so fish I caught today. I love this lake. I absolutely love this lake. Hope to see it again. <laughs>